The free update for the 5D embroidery system for 2011 includes our new super fonts. So, why are super fonts better than what we had before? Let's just have a look at how things now work. Go to the letter tab, just make some letters. As you know, we can move around our fonts, we can resize them. into all different shapes. But new is our right click and before we would have just came straight up with the properties box for these fonts now we come up with a context sensitive menu. If we go to the properties you can see this is very similar to what we had before with the size, alignment tools etc. But missing is the controls that we had here just do a right click again. We can see that we've got the properties and then we've got curved satin. Now what happens is that the program will now sense the stitch type which is actually in the font and the menu will reflect that. If we click on curved satin, here we have our options that we did previously. OK, right, now let's do another piece of lettering. We go up to our camera icon. So now it's brought up the font viewer and there's a couple of changes here. First of all, we now show the category, decorative, but we also have two arrows and these arrows allow us to jump in between the categories. We're just going to use the second font, the Bremen. Select that. Increase the size a little. Apply that. Now if we do a right click, again we get the properties. But now we get a pattern fill menu. So we can go there and change it to one of the hundreds of pattern fills. OK, so that's what happens with existing fonts. What happens with our new super fonts? Using our camera icon to bring up the font viewer, we can browse to the category we want, which is the multicolor. Then we can find the font that we are after. which is this new font, review, select that, just get rid of the previous lettering, enter some new lettering, increase the size of that, Here's our lettering. So OK, we use the right click menu. We go to properties. Now we're going to change the alignment to center. Change the spacing to just one. OK, so that's our basic lettering. Now, if you have 5D embroidery, this is the sort of thing that you can do but you can't change it anymore. If you have 5D Embroidery Extra, select the font, right click, we can then go to Spiral Fill, which is the effect we have here. We can go to Options, and we can change the density. I'm going to move the marker up to the center. I can, of course, do all the other things that I could do with a gradient density, i.e. adding separate markers. Click OK. You can instantly see how the font has changed. Now, a good thing to note here is that you may want to remember what you've done. So, if we go to the Design tab, select your lettering, 
if we have a look at the settings tab then we can see all the settings that we've applied to for this fill pattern we can see we have actually changed the density here 1 to 7 and the second marker to 24 OK so if we delete this lettering and we go back to the letter tab let's see what more fancy things we can do first thing to note if we just click apply right, it's gone back to the basic settings or the default settings for that font if we do a right click again let's just set the properties correctly so that's just back to one and center alignment now let's adjust the satin line because what we'd like is a bolder border so we can just increase the width of that from 2 to 4 instantly giving us a different result to highlight what we can do a little bit more let's actually make four small designs so we make one another 5D there 5D there and finally one down in the corner so we select the top right, right one we go to our spiral fill properties now I'm going to do a contour fill go to the options increase the gap to 1.5 Now we can see the contour of the letter. On the second one, again we go to Spiral Fill Options and let's pick a Radial Fill. Options, I'm going to increase that to about 12. A nice star effect we get. The third one, going to make this into a quilt stipple fill options are about right accept that finally let's make it into a shape fill pick any one of these shapes we'll pick a star open up the density a little bit there we go so as you can see from one font if you have 5d embroidery extra you can change the fill patterns to anything that we have in front of us here